Today I'm going to show you how to add two one digit numbers to 20. So I'm going to add the numbers 7 and 6 together. At the moment, I don't know what my answer is. Now there are lots of different ways that you can do this with your children, um, but we really need to make sure that they are using concrete apparatus or pictures to help them. So one thing that you could use is playing cards to help them. So I've got my seven here and I've got my six and this is great because if we look at the larger shapes one two three four five six seven one two three four five six I can add up those larger shapes. So let's do that together. So I know there's seven here. Try and get your children to hold that number in their head if they can. If they can't, that's fine. They can count them individually, okay? But work towards going, we know it's seven. I don't need to count it because I can see there's seven there, okay? But if they need to count it, that's fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sometimes children want to double check. If that's the stage they need to go through, that's absolutely fine. So we've got seven there. I'm gonna add the six on. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I have 13 there all together. That's brilliant. Now, one of the things that we use a lot in school is we use counters. So we'll get my seven counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is one number. And now I need my six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's my second number. And I would do exactly the same thing and I would add them up. So I know I've got seven in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen is my answer there. Now you can use absolutely anything. If you don't have counters at home, you can use anything. You can use paper clips, dried pasta, pen lids, bits of Lego. Um, if you've got Play-Doh, break it up into little balls. You can use Play-Doh, absolutely anything, okay? Sometimes in school, we use these plastic sticks as well. Okay, and then we can make bundles. So you can see I've got one, two, three, four, five. That's my six there. And then I can use a different colour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And I could go, oh, what would I need to take from there to make a ten? So I can bring three over. So now I've got a bundle of ten plus three is thirteen. So actually, I've added up my seven and my six, but I've actually started to think about number bonds in there as well. Um, then we would move children on to using number lines. So I would draw my number line and I would put the largest number at the start of my number line. So I would put my seven there. Now I know that I want to add six on, okay? But actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to say to the children, what would I need to add to that seven to actually get 10? We're going to jump up to that 10 first of all and I know that I would actually add three okay so if I've got this six here I've already added on three what's left well that's going to be another three and that would take me to 13. Now if your child isn't quite ready for this stage here where we've partitioned that six then we can use a stepped method, a, a more obvious stepped method. So again, I would start with my larger number seven. I know I need to add on six, so I'm literally gonna add on six. So I'm gonna bounce six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and I've actually added one on each time, so we're gonna double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what would those numbers be? So that's going to be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And there you go. My answer is still 13.